We'll look at 10 low estrogen symptoms that can be problematic for women in this video. When the body isn't producing enough estrogen, it can lead to a variety of problems. There might be a wide range of physical and psychological symptoms. The overall health of a woman may deteriorate in her latter years. Low estrogen has harmed several crucial areas. For women, estrogen is a necessary molecule. Hormones have an impact on nearly every cell, organ, and function in the human body. The term estrogen refers to a set of hormones. A group of hormones that are chemically related. Not only is estrogen linked to the breasts and uterus, but it's also linked to the prostate. The brain, bone, liver, heart, and other tissues are also affected. As a result, sufficient nutrition is critical for women. For excellent general health, women should have enough levels of estrogen in their bodies. So, here's what we've come up with. Every woman should be aware of these 10 low estrogen symptoms. Please watch the entire video since we've included some bonus content. Finally, some treatment alternatives for insufficient estrogen. What is the significance of estrogen? One of the most significant hormones in a woman's body is estrogen. It is only found in trace amounts in the human body. It is really important for your overall wellness. Estrogen is produced by both males and women, but in higher amounts by women. Estrogen insufficiency can affect men too. A man with an estrogen shortage is a man who doesn't have enough of the female hormone estrogen. Increased body fat is well known. Estrogen is in charge of controlling how much you eat. Hormone sensitivity, body weight, and glucose metabolism. Stopping further ovulation during pregnancy, and preventing bone loss. Assisting in the prevention of urethral infections. It also plays a part in the metabolism of cholesterol. Low estrogen, what causes it? Low estrogen can be due to a number of factors. The ovaries are the primary source of estrogen, hence. Estrogen levels are influenced by what happens to the ovaries. Women in their 40s and 50s, as well as women in their 40s and 50s. In the majority of cases, there are many causes for low estrogen. Estrogen deficiency is common among younger women. Due to excessive activity, difficulties with the pituitary gland, kidney disorders, etc. Turner syndrome, eating disorders, and ovarian failure. Estrogen deficiency is common in women over 40. Menopause may be on the horizon. This is totally natural, but if it is not controlled, it can cause health problems. Perimenopause refers to this stage of life. What are the signs and symptoms of estrogen deficiency? Estrogen insufficiency can affect women of all ages. It mostly affects prepubescent girls. Ladies on the verge of or in the throes of menopause. The following are some of the symptoms of estrogen deficiency. Hot flashes and night sweats are two of the most common side effects of menopause. One of the most visible signs of estrogen deficiency is hot flashes. A hot flash is a quick commencement of body temperature increase. A source of heat that isn't external. A hot flash, on the other hand, can happen suddenly. A few minutes worth of time. Sweating, typically in the upper body, can accompany hot flashes. As well as skin flushing in the upper torso and head. A tingling sensation may be felt by certain females. Anxiety and heart palpitations. Hot flashes can occur in women who have low estrogen symptoms. At least once a day, if not more. Hot flashes in the evening are known as night sweats. Night sweats usually affect the upper body and the head. In addition, damp hair, pillow coverings, sheets, and even sleepwear occur. The sleep cycle of a woman might be disrupted by night sweats, which can lead to a variety of problems. Inadequate sleep, in turn, can cause her to feel tired. Menstrual cycles that are irregular or non-existent. Because estrogen is so important, it's worth mentioning. Women's reproductive health is one of the most important aspects of their overall health. Menstrual cycles can be disrupted or caused by a lack of estrogen. Estrogen regulates uterine lining growth during pregnancy. To prepare for pregnancy, a woman's cycle begins in the early stages. The body diminishes the chances of a woman's egg being fertilized if it is not fertilized. Menstruation begins as a result of a high level of estrogen. The menstrual cycle will be disrupted if a woman has insufficient estrogen. Periods may be inconsistent or even missed if the cycle is disturbed. 
If a woman goes three or more months without having her period, she is considered to be infertile. Secondary amenorrhea is the term for this. A doctor should look at it. 3. Weight gain due to low estrogen levels. Estrogen has a direct influence on body fat storage. Estrogen controls a woman's glucose and lipid metabolism. Metabolism. When estrogen levels fall too low, it can lead to a variety of health problems. As women approach menopause, they are more likely to acquire weight. It's more likely that you'll gain weight than you think. If a woman thinks her estrogen levels are too high, she should consult her doctor. They should visit a doctor if they have any weight issues. Osteoporosis with low estrogen levels. Osteoporosis is caused by a reduction in estrogen levels. Osteoporosis is a bone weakening illness. You could suffer if you have this ailment. As a result of abrupt bone fractures, your bones become porous and more readily broken as a result of the condition. Fractures and breaking are likely to occur. This condition can go unnoticed for a long period. Women account for approximately 80% of all osteoporosis patients. Increased bone deterioration and osteoporosis can occur when estrogen levels are low. What is the procedure for determining whether or not you have a low estrogen level? It is up to you to diagnose low estrogen. If any of the symptoms stated in this video resonate with you, it's time to schedule an appointment with your physician. Low estrogen can only be detected by a doctor. Tests can be done on the blood to see whether there is a problem. Low estrogen can be caused by a number of factors, including your hormone levels. Treatments for low estrogen. Hormonal therapy is commonly used to treat low estrogen levels. If you're between the ages of 25 and 50, you'll almost certainly be prescribed. A high estrogen dose to replenish the estrogen that has been lost, and balance out your hormones. The dosage will be determined by the disease's severity, as well as the manner in which it was applied. Hormone therapy can be administered through pills, injections, or a combination of the two. Topical, intramuscular, or vaginal administrations are all options. For women approaching or in menopause, long-term treatment is common. Estrogen medication is usually only used for one to two years in the majority of cases. As a result of the higher cancer risk that this treatment entails. So, it concludes the video. I hope you learned something new, or at the very least discovered some new information. So, take a look at the video in the description below. Also, to show your support, please like and subscribe. We want this to grow into a community of people who care about one another. Collaborates to improve one's health. What kind of video should we do next? Thank you for watching and for leaving your opinions in the comments section below.